Hello, welcome to this tutorial, and I'll be showing you guys how to plug your PlayStation 3 controller wirelessly to your computer with a Bluetooth device. What is required? Please watch my older video on how to connect your PlayStation controller via wire and follow that video for the first steps just in case. I'm not too sure if you need to do that, but I just do it just in case we have problems. Now the requirements you need is the controller and its wire just in case and a Bluetooth adapter. It cost me about $21. Now, be very aware that when you purchase Bluetooth, make sure that it is version 4.0. I bought 2.0 and I ran into some problems because it wasn't capable. It didn't have certain aspects that version 4.0 has. Okay, so this is all we need. Plug in your Bluetooth, let the Windows install it. Plug in your controller. Let's get started. Alright, plug in your controller via USB wire. Now plug in your Bluetooth USB adapter into your USB port. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to put mine in the front. Your computer should recognize it and install the drivers that it must have. Okay, once you have everything plugged in, go ahead and start up the program. Motion Enjoy. When you have Motion Enjoy open, it should say DualShock 3 6 Access, which is plugged via USB. Well, once you have your Bluetooth plugged in, click on Bluetooth Pair section. It should recognize that you have a Bluetooth adapter. And once you have it plugged in, remember what I said when I said you have to have version 4.0. The reason why I said that is because when we're in the Bluetooth Pair category and we go under Future and, and select Supports Future, where it says Enhance Data Rate ACL2 and the third one also, this is required for uh, the controller to transmit it in order for you to use it wirelessly. Make sure if you don't have this, return your USB, Bluetooth, and get version 4.0. Okay, now go back to Bluetooth Pair once we've uh, established that. And where it says Pair Now, just click on that. The numbers here that says Have Pair 2 should be the same as Adapter Mac up here. And you're paired. Then you go to Driver Manager and it should recognize your Bluetooth. If you do not know which one here uh, is the Bluetooth driver, neither do I. It's kind of uh, intricate. Just check mark both boxes and click on Load Driver. It should take a moment. It might freeze. Don't worry about that. It will be working. Your computer should make a few sound effects and when you scroll down in this data log it should say completed installer driver start by the way if you run into the problem that I am having now when I did this just close the program and start it back up when the program is open again unplug the USB wire to your PlayStation controller and it says say wait for controller to be connected and at the bottom right it should give a prompt window saying that installing device driver okay once it says it's ready to use under connected game controller it is now Bluetooth make sure it's on the Xbox 360 controller emulator if you want that one but I say it's mandatory because it is compatible with most games when you're done selecting your own setting you can test the vibration to see if it works wirelessly. It pr works perfectly fine. My own is vibrating. And then click on Enable. You may or may not hear a sound effect from the computer. Once you click Enable, that should establish it. And a reminder, always have this window open when you're about to play a PC game. I will now be demonstrating the wireless feature using the Bluetooth on the computer without any wire. Alright, I'll be starting up Star Wars. <laughs>
strong in this one. Oh, he died. It works! Ah, oh, my neck. Okay. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!